oysters are underwater. Okay, it's the next day now. See what's going on out here. And look at this, I found an ibis. and a resident curlew. Pretty cool, huh? An ibis and resident curlew. There's our, there's our resident curlew. Right there. More or less it's our woodstone curlew. Here are resident curlew, and a little further up, an ibis. An ibis and resident curlew. Pretty cool, actually. Let's see if we can find a at that now. So, we've had a look at the resident curlew with the ibis bird. But where's a at? Oh, Uh -oh. Yes, what are you up to in here? I'm assuming you're clearing out the leaves. Getting rid of some leaves. Yeah, I can see that. And you can actually really see the bottom of the boat now. I'm assuming you got rid of the uh, flooring in there too. Reveal the true identity of what this boat actually is now, right underneath it. Uh, yes, I don't know, as you can see, he's clearing out leaves right here. There's still some in there. He's clearing them out now. Why don't you give us our cup? Where's the carpet? Ah. Take all the leaves off the first. Pretty good. Yeah, take that. Because you've got you've got you've got the two hands free, I don't. This rope right here is in the way. So we'll have to tuck the, the carpet underneath the rope. So there, there. Tuck it underneath. There. Now it has to go over here to the left. Oh, way over here. Well, this is this is right. Okay. There. There we go. See the carpet's back. There. Perfect. as far as it can go. It is across. It's across enough. It's too far across. Not too far across because that's got tie over there. Yeah, but there's a lot. There's a lot of tarp over here. Well, that's good. It's got to be a lot of tarp over there. A lot of tarp. There's over too much here, too. tarp. There's not a lot over there, there's more over here than there is over there. Gosh. Well, it, it actually barely touches the ground over here.
Okay. So that's the boat right there. And then it's got to tie this across over from the trailer below. It's harder than it looks, Islanders, believe me. It's harder than it looks. That's tied down there, and yeah. Okay. I'm just tucking that into the boat there. This big box right here filled with nets, lots of small mesh nets in there. As you islanders can find out for yourselves, there it is. It's a lot in there. Ooh. Wow. Go and grab the grey piece of net up there, the new piece of the old piece. Uh, it's hard for me to tell what which piece is new and which one isn't. It's hard for me. It's hard to tell because I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not a fisherman or anything like that. It's hard for me to tell the difference between the two, so I'll just grab that one instead. I figured because it was blank, it'd be the new one. that under the house. Yes, it is. It is getting overcast. Wow, that's too close. And windy. Yes, the resident curlew is back. Because when I came out here, both an ibis and a resident curlew were here. Oh, the ibis. Where's the ibis? That's the, the I know what it is. It's an ibis. Yeah, that's an ibis. It's a Sicilian duck. No, it's an ibis, and I know exactly what it is. 50,000 cane farmers can't be wrong. I'll all tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a Sicilian duck. No, it's an ibis, and I know what it is. He's a cane, he's a fisherman. What, what the heck is he going on about? Yes, this is according to a YouTuber named John Matrix One that I'm making the assumptions on. Okay.
Hmm. Of course, it's me. Who'd you think it was going to be? Slide the box over to the fridge and then you can put them in. No, I can't because I've got hands full as you can clearly see. Come over here on the other side. Maybe here on the other side, here. Be on the other side. Oh, Sam. Come on. Yeah, hand, hand one over to me. One at a time. It's just that I have hands full, that's all. That's all we can fit. That's all that can be fitted in. That's all we really want. There's no more room in the fridge. And yes, Islanders, if you or wanted not. to know. Huh? Or not. Or not. <laughs> and yes, Islanders, we actually did a major, pretty much a major overhaul to the living room. This was part of the Island Life living room upgrade. So let's show our Islanders what our, what our living room looks like <coughs> now. This was part of the Island Life living room upgrade. Here it is. Ta-da! The computer area is over here now. It used to be diagonal. Now it's over here, so we're going to get a, a John's new office sign right up there above, right up there somewhere. Um, this area here will be where our Christmas tree is going to go. This is all part of the Island Live living room upgrade. Here, here's my new table. So my table's now over here. And funny thing, actually, it used to be right there. Like right, like standing right along here. That's where it used to be. Now it's over here. I don't care if it's paying too fast. I pan too fast, that's all. The couches have been moved over as well. This one used to be there. It's now over here. And these two were right next to each other. This one was right over here. This one was right over there. So we've moved them. Um, this three piece used to be right here. Now it's over here. This is all part of the Island Life upgrade, pretty much. What we've what we've gone through here. Uh, but it doesn't end there, Islanders. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, the upgrades don't end there. But that's just it's just this one for now. Uh, so this is the bathroom that's pretty much remained the same psycho dad's room. Um, it's pretty much the same at this point in time. But trust me, he might he might you know ruffle it up a bit in the um very soon. But yeah, this is this is it everyone. This is the new island life experience right here. 
So we've so we've we've done very heavy modifications to it. Well, I don't look out the door, you know. So is the resident Kulu out there? And stop calling it a dweeb. I've already told you what the definition of a dweeb is, and you and you still don't and you still don't take anything of it. Still don't think anything of it. It's not there. Must be, must be somewhere else then. Lurking. Oh, that's what you think. You think that all, you think that all resident curlews are lurking every time. But yes, Islanders, this is pretty much the experience right here. So, now I'll just let, just let to deal with this. Dried out already. Yep, because not too many birds came by. Only one. That's what it is with these birds, eh? They they just they just don't come by as much as they used to in the days prior. And there it is. Yeah. So there you go, Islanders. Um, that's the new experience right here. And, well, what do you think about this, everyone? Yes, that's right, this area here is pretty much the, pretty much the least modified of all. Hmm. Extras. Uh oh, it's Sam. Yes, it is. You guessed right. <laughs> it is me. Well, yes, Islanders, and you wanted to know where his, where his barbecue is? It's right out here. For now. I think it was some sausage, but he didn't like it. Which explain, which explains what this is? So what what I'm getting from here, everyone, is that Saigon has given um, Eccles some sausage, which I'm guessing what this is, right here, all over the railing like that. It's even there too. I can see it. That's a horse. He gets a beak from it and bashes his beak on the side. Which I'm guessing is why it's on the side like that. Because it sticks too well on there. You can see it. Quite sunny outside too as well, I actually noticed. You can actually kind of see me. Oh, there I am. <laughs> what? Actually, my reflection comes up pretty well in this. Like, there I am there. <laughs> Yeah. Where? Is he Where? In flight at the moment. Uh, do you want to see that eagle? Because I don't. Mm-hmm. 
no, no eagle. Okay. Look at this. A big, big, big tree stump is falling on its side. How about that, huh? A big tree stump on its side on the competitor's land. Nice sunny skies as well. As you can see right out there, there's the shed. Finally, <laughs> that took so long to get that shed. And this thing right here, this thing right down there, got to pretend that at the post office tomorrow. So it doesn't work at all. Which, which I'm assuming my psycho dad was pretty upset today. Yeah. Things are not going right for us at all. Well, it's not going right for me. Look in the future. See ya.